just woke up, checked on Twitter, saw that these Europe exclusive Jordan ones just dropped online, and let's see if we can buy them right now. These are the Air Jordan 1 High OG Panda. Supposed to be a Europe exclusive. They're a woman's sneaker, so I got size 11.5. Let's add that to cart. Sold it. Oh, damn. <gasps> Why? How about a size 12? Can I get a size 10 and a half? Nope. Sold out. 9.5. Nope. Sold out. Why you gotta do this to me, Nike? It says all the sizes are here, but you're playing with my heart. It hurts. <sighs> Alright, so that's one. That's one L to start off this day. And uh, there's another L I'm taking, but it's not really in my control. Going back to my Twitter, and I just noticed that everybody and their mom is getting the Air Jordan 4 breads early right now. See, early access to the Air Jordan 4 bread Scratch the logo on the bottom image. It hurts. I know, I think Shumanati just picked up a pair. So many pairs that Sneakers is doing a second early drop. A second early drop. That's crazy to me that they're doing two early drops on this bread for. On the bright side, however, it looks like they're adding the other colorway of the Air Jordan 1 low. You guys know about this low top version I bought and I did a review on. They only have size 14 left, but they're releasing that black toe colorway very, very soon. So hopefully I can cop those. And those look like a perfect summer sneaker. Anyways, that is such a sneakerhead thing to do. Waking up and the very first thing you do is try and buy sneakers on online, whether it be on your phone, on the computer. Let me know if you've done that before, and if so, for what sneaker? Did you take an L? Did you take a W? Good morning, Misty. Good morning. Oh, opening your legs? Oh my gosh, come on. You have no shame. You have no shame. You open your legs so fast. <laughs> All right, so we're just getting to my uh, dental hygienist right now, and I decided to wear my off-white Jordan 1 UNCs because I'm gonna be buying the off-white Vans today. And I wanted to also ask my dentist, because she's like a cool younger girl compared to like other dentists out there, what they think about my off-white sneakers, and most importantly, what they think about me wearing them with a zip tie. If they think it's weird or not, we'll find out soon enough. So we just finished up at the dentist and it turns out I had a gum checkup, not a regular cleaning, so I didn't have my regular dental hygienist. But I did manage to ask my other dental hygienist, who was a girl, what they thought about the shoes and the zip tie. I had to ask them off camera, however, because she wasn't comfortable on camera. And she told me she just feels like a little weird about it, but like not weirded out. It's just, it's just different, you know, seeing a shoe with a giant zip tie. She was a little confused. I think that's the best way to uh, describe how she felt about the off-white sneakers with the zip tie. She liked the color of the shoes. She had no idea about what off-white was, so she liked the shoes. But when it came to the zip tie, she was like, it doesn't really make much sense unless there's some really big branding on the zip tie or if it was like bedazzled or chrome or some other cool color. But her seeing an orange big massive zip tie and finding out that the zip tie actually came with the shoe really confused her. But uh, since we are in the Young and Finch area, I think we're gonna stop by possibly Essential Toronto before we go to Foot Action and buy the off-white van. So let's stop by the Essential Toronto North York location. Just made it to Central Toronto's North York location and the wall of sneakers here never sees or never stops to amaze me. Like they have so much heat at this location and there's so many Yeezys too. I wasn't expecting to see this many Yeezy boxes. Check this out. Every single time I go on a live stream, you guys ask me what my favorite sneaker is and it's always the Jordan 1. And they have almost like every single colorway that's come out over the last couple of years. They have those new ones that just came out. The I forget what they're called, but they're like the off-white inspired ones that I think they're the turbo green. I think that's it. And you guys also asked me recently what my favorite upcoming Jordan 1 is. And that would have to be the yellow toe ones coming out. They have the similar color blocking to the shatter backboards and the bread toes, but it's yellow and you hardly ever see a really nice yellow Air Jordan 1. So I'm excited to buy those. What do you guys think about those yellow toe ones? Hit that pole up top right now. Is it a cop or a drop? Let me know. The Origin or Spider-Man Chicago ones, I don't I don't like them. I really, really, really don't like them. They sort of remind me of like a, a chicken pox. 
They remind me of chicken pox on the Chicago one. I prefer if they left the Chicago one alone for a while, but uh, we'll see if they retro them again, because again, the bread ones are expected to come out this Black Friday. They have the uh, Cold Wall Air Force ones. I haven't seen these in person before, and they're actually really, really nice. The pictures online don't do these justice. And I actually never heard about the brand A Cold Wall until they did that collaboration with Nike on these Air Force Ones. I also think they did some clothing too. And they also have a ton of Air Jordan 11s as well. There's just so many. There's so many. I can't appreciate the Jordan 11 like most of you guys. I just think they look really clunky and weird on my own feet. These are, I think are the Moon Landing Air Max 90s. These came out like years and years ago. A few years ago, maybe like four, four or five years ago. And uh, these are just so nice, but resale is crazy expensive. They're 1500 here. I cannot afford that, that's for sure. But they did recently make a, uh, another shoe inspired by this one, or sort of similar to this one, and they're the Mars Landing, and these just came out like a couple of weeks ago. Very similar in, uh, in styling. It has that same print, but this time it has an orange upper with a black midsole, and it has silver on the back for that Nike Air branding. Not really a fan of these. I actually think I saw these sitting at Sports Check at Yorkdale Mall. And if you need a Supreme backpack, they have a ton of them. They also have all of those uh, side bags as well. This wall bag here speaks to me. Red's my favorite color and there's just so much Supreme accessories. They have like everything here. Those dice, they got a toolbox, they got some tennis balls, they got the, there's just so much man. This is probably one of the best locations in Toronto to go to if you're looking for some Supreme accessories. When I move out, I might have to stop by here and go on a little shopping spree. And then right at the front, like the glass display case, they also have some LV Supreme. Right there, they got a T, they got a belt. And they also have a bunch of the smaller accessories, the, the not as expensive accessories, but they're still up there, of course, because it is Supreme, so it's to be expected. These are pretty cool. It's like a little keychain they have, a few different colors. For all of my Keymaster addicts out there, here's a look at the shoes they have for the Keymaster if you guys want to play it. They got the uh, Sean Witherspoons, some off-whites, they got the Nike Fear of Gods, I think that looked like a cast. And they also got those really, really nice clay Yeezys, off-white Converse, and the, uh, the purple Jordan ones that came out not too long ago. Central Toronto, they're in North York location. If you are in the Young and Shepherd area, definitely a store I think you should check out. A lot of the stuff is very, very expensive, so do keep that in mind. If you are on a tight budget, it's not a, you know, it's not a budget-friendly store. But if you got some extra cash to spend, you know, maybe you got your tax return in, wanna, you wanna splurge, definitely a store you should check out. We're here at Fairview Mall now, and here is the foot action right here. Let's check it out and see what sneakers they have inside. We got the beautiful Air Max Plus or Air Max TN on sale for 25% off, regularly $215. With that 25% off, you got some solid savings. They also got the purple colorway here as well. Here's a look at the Air Jordan selection. We still have the uh, Chinese New Year 12s right here, that crazy satin upper. They also have the uh, the Sports Illustrated Air Jordan 1s for 25% off. This is some of the heat I was talking about. These are a size 11 by the looks of it. So retail price 215, extra 25 off. We have the brand new Jordan 11 Low Snake Skins that also just came out. These are sitting at a lot of stores. I'm not really a fan of it, not a fan at all. And then we also have the leather right here on the upper. I like that, but the snake skin, I just, I can't do it. I cannot do it. Retail price 245 Canadian dollars. Here are the new Air Jordan 3s that just came out. They're really cool because they have these detachable swooshes. They have an elephant print one as well. And these are sort of inspired by the OG Air Max 1 with that white and red color blocking. Retail price is high, it's high. It's $300, so it's a bit up there, but um, these are really clean. They still have these ones in a size 12. I really mess with these, but unfortunately no size 10 left. And these, these are surprising to see, these pink and black Air Jordan ones. I know these sold out in a lot of places, but they only have a size 11.5 and up here. No size 10, 215 retail. I like the leather on these, but I know that pink color is off-putting for some people. 
But this is still a really clean colorway, so maybe in size 10 if I can find my pair. Forest with the grandma leather, 25% off these. And then they got these ones right here. This shoe definitely has Tom written all over it. And they also have these Jordan 14s here, and I think what might be an OG colorway. I'm not really a fan of the 14s. I like the inspiration, like designer cars, luxury cars, designer cars, luxury cars, but uh, this, this is weird to me. They look so, so weird to me. What do you guys think about the Jordan 14? Are the Jordan 14s fire or are they whack? The off-white Cortez available. They got the pink colorway, yellow colorway, $100 on sale. They also have the black and white colorway. Way. That's really clean. 100 bucks for these? That's solid. Retail price is 140 Canadian. But this is what we're here for. We're here for these. These off-white inspired vans. They have the black colorway right here. These are clean. And uh, these are 115 Canadian dollars for the black colorway. And the white colorway was right there. But the homie Justin's checking the back for the size right now. So I'll show you guys the white colorway in a second. Hopefully they have my size. Apparently resellers have been coming in buying up stock because the resale has gone up on those. They got the beautiful triple black colorway of the Adidas Night Jogger. This colorway is my favorite of the Adidas Night Jogger. If you like off-white, I feel like you might like these Adidas uh, Night Joggers right here. Sort of give off an off-white kind of vibe with all the different materials on this shoe. We got the hits of orange as well. We got the exposed tongue right there just like the off-white ones and then uh, yeah this is just a really really clean colorway of the night jogger so they didn't have the uh, size 10 for the white pair that I really wanted but they did have a size 10 for the black pair right here so let's take these out of the box show you guys these one more time now they did release these earlier in like an OG black and white colorway and they actually said laces on the side I think but these are very very toned down but they definitely have that like, deconstructed vibe very similar to these like off-white ones I have on feet right now like I could take the zip tie off these ones and I could put it on these vans and you would think they're an off-white collaboration like that's how that's how much these really are inspired by like, like deconstructed off-white kind of vibes so I mess with these I think we'll grab these right now in size 10 I'll double check and see if they have a size 9.5 for the whites but if not we'll probably grab these and they also have the Nike Have a Nike Day collection right here. These are the Air Max ones. Really cool pastel vibe here with the pink, the turquoise, and this purple. 165 Canadian. They also come with a cool pin right here. That's pretty cool to see. And it says Have a Nike Day on the tongue. All right, so I'm here with Justin, my favorite foot action employee. If you guys come to Fairview, ask for him. He's the guy. He's going to bless you. So Justin, how do you feel about the uh, the off-white UNCs? Okay, first of all, yeah. best one out of the three. Mm -hmm. um, the white one, nice and clean, but it kind of goes a little yellow. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, over time. Yeah, yeah, I've seen those photos. So the blue one's definitely the hardest. Mm -hmm. I like the zip tie, to be honest. The zip tie? Especially with the blue ones. Yeah. Just because of extra color contrast. It pops. You know it pops. I mean? Yeah. Like, you need that pop. Especially with the blue laces. Mm -hmm. I prefer, I like the orange laces on them. Yeah. But that's just me. But even, even then, it still looks hard. And what about the other off white sneakers? Would you keep the zip tie on the shoe or would you take them off? Does it depend I, on the shoe? Honestly, no. It doesn't matter if it's a presto, doesn't matter. Matter if it's mm. any of them, yeah. I keep the zip tie on. Just you see the zip tie, you know off white. You know yeah, what I mean? yeah. You see the zip tie off white. All right, so we picked up the uh, the off white vans right here from Foot Action. Let's take a look at these, and when we get home too, I'll show you guys that surprise mystery box from Japan. Small update, we're not home just yet. I stopped by Foot Locker to see what they had there. Now, I don't really film in there because I know they don't like me filming in that specific Foot Locker, but we did end up buying another pair of shoes today. So they're in this bag right here. I also picked up some iced coffee, but yeah, new pickup right here, which I will show you guys when we get back to the crib right after that mystery box from Japan. But that said, let's get going back home and I'll show you guys all of the pickups for today. Back home in my little office room right here and uh, before we get into the Japan mystery unboxing I, uh, I want to make a quick little announcement some housekeeping there is a sneaker convention tomorrow happening Soul Exchange I'll have two tables I'll be selling a bunch of my older sneakers along with a bunch of clothing for the low so if you guys want to stop by my table I think we're also going to be giving away a free pair of Bape Sun glasses that's the first little announcement i'll be there all day tomorrow second announcement i actually am streaming on twitch it's twitch.tv slash sneaker talk ta this is the room we actually stream in here's my little office space right here we got two monitors we got my computer we got roadhog in the back 
And uh, I play video games with my girlfriend Natty. We play Apex Legends. We also play Overwatch. No Fortnite, unfortunately. But if you guys want to hang out, just come chill. We talk about secrets. We talk about other things. We talk about girl problems, how to get girls, um, you know, other random stuff, uh, non Avengers related things, of course, because we're avoiding all the spoilers. We usually stream at nighttime, probably around like 8 p.m. Eastern. Um, so yeah, just stop by the stream. Hang out, come chill. We also do some sneaker giveaways, so if that's some extra incentive to hang out with us, feel free to. And it's a good time, so just come chill. Nice. And uh, yeah, now let's get to the Japan Mystery Unboxing, and then I'll show you guys the two sneaker pickups from today. So this package actually came in from the homie David, who is currently living in Osaka, Japan. Now this isn't the first time David has sent over a mystery box. He sent over another mystery box in the past from Japan, and he is just a really awesome, supportive subscriber who really messes with the content, and I really appreciate the support, man, so thank you again. David, I have his Instagram on screen right now. I think it's TW Super David. Please don't DM him asking for stuff. He's not gonna bless you for no random reason. Like he's not gonna randomly send free stuff to complete strangers. So don't bother wasting his time. Don't bother wasting your time asking him for free stuff. But he sent over a massive care package and this one's heavier than the first one. So let's open this box and see what we have. I actually have no idea what is inside. I have not yet opened it up. But this came in the mail a couple of days ago, and I've had it just sitting, just waiting for me to open up. So let me just cut this up, and we'll get into it. First thing I see, whoa, whoa, what the fuck? There's some sneakers in here. There's a bunch of other goodies in here too, but damn. First of all, David blessed me with a ton of different Japanese candies and snacks. So here's a little peek inside the box. For, like, look, look at all this. Look at all this. All right, <laughs> I'm hyped. I'm hyped. All right, so first up, we actually have some Pokemon noodles right here. Some Pokemon noodles, and I've actually had these before in Japan. They're really, really yummy. So with Detective Pikachu coming out, this makes total sense. But that's the first, first little pickup from Japan. Thank you, David. We have some non-Pokemon noodles, and uh, these look really good too. We got some more instant noodles. If you're from Japan, or know your Japanese noodles or your instant noodles. You might know what these are. Hopefully they're good. I mean, I trust David. I trust David's, you know, sense of taste, so hopefully these are really good. Bomb rolls. Some bourbon bomb rolls. I've never had these in my entire life. We got these bomb rolls. I'll try some of these tonight on stream, actually. I will be streaming, I think, at uh, 10 p.m. Eastern or 10.30 p.m. Eastern tonight. So again, link down below if you guys wanna hang out tonight. We might be streaming while you watch this, so just come by after. This looks like it's a variety pack. So it looks like we have some gummy candies. They have the uh, a grape flavor in here. We have a soda flavor. We have a grape flavor, a green grape flavor, or apple, ew, apple? I think it's apple. And then we also have a cola flavor. Japanese chips are pretty lit. Japanese chips never disappoint. And what on earth are these? Big 150 gram. This is a, uh, this looks good. This looks good. I'm so excited to go back to Japan this May. I'm going back. Um, for about a week and uh, I'm really hyped for it. So this will get me ready for the Japanese food These are poi full gummy candies. They look like jelly beans or like Mikey and Ike. bring these with me to Soul Exchange tomorrow Because they do get hungry. We have the final item from the Japan Mystery box some sneakers right here. Thank you, David I'm not even gonna look at the box label so I can't see you know what shoe it is based off the label Oh, we have a little whoa. We got some go. <laughs> All right, there's a little note here. It reads, enjoy the mystery box, 2K19. Thank you, David. I appreciate it, man. And there's a little receipt thing. And then we have a Gundam. We have a Gundam Converge figure right here. I have a few of these in my room, actually, and I don't have this one. So thank you for the, uh, the Gundam RX-9B. This is gonna be pretty dope. If you don't know, I actually build Gundams. And I think these are, yeah. These are exactly what I thought they were when I saw the, the side of the shoe. Woo, damn! I think these are the Nike uh, Atmos collaboration. I forget the exact name. I, th I think it's the Air Max Light 2. Let me check the box. Air Max 2 Light Quick Strike. So these are the Atmos collaboration and these shoes are so crazy. Check these out, guys. 
Dang! It's like an all over mixture of different Nike logos. And uh, these are probably the loudest sneakers in my collection besides my Toro 6s. Thank you, David. I really, really appreciate you, man. This is really too much. Um, so thank you. <laughs> thank you so much, man. Hopefully we can hang out in Osaka because we haven't actually hung out in Japan, so that'd be really cool. I'm actually gonna wear these tomorrow for the Soul Exchange event, so my feet will be popping and very loud and vibrant. So let me throw these on feet, show you guys what these look like, give you guys a little, a little first impression of the Atmos Air Max 2 Lite. I actually got the name right. I was really surprised I got the exact name right. Um, but yeah, thank you again, David. I appreciate you, fam, for all the support. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Next up, we have the new off-white van sneaker pickup for today. Oh wow, we got me the wrong size too. These are a size 10.5. No, Justin. No, I needed a size 10. Got a 10.5, so you know what? Let's just do a giveaway for these. I'm feeling in a very good mood today, um, especially with that love from David. He hooked me up with some shoes, so let's hook up one of you guys with some shoes. We got a size 10.5 uh, Vans Skate High off-white, off off-white inspired. I'll review them on my second channel, Sneaker Talk 365, so make sure you guys subscribe to my second channel, and we'll do the uh, we'll do a two-part giveaway. So you gotta subscribe to this channel and my second channel, and comment down below what you guys think about the Air Max 2 Lite Atmos. What do you guys think about the sneakers from the Japan Mystery Box? These things right here. Tell me your opinions right now, and that will be one entry. So comment, subscribe, and like this video. That'll be one entry for the Off-White Vans giveaway. And then for the second entry, uh, I will be doing a review of these sneakers on my other channel, and I just need you to drop a comment on that video, and watch it, of course, telling me what you guys think about the Off-White Vans. But yeah, a quick look at these, because I will be doing a review. But these are really cool. I really like the suede that they use. I really like the fact that they have a zipper on the side. It's probably one of my favorite parts about this shoe and of course make sure you guys follow me on instagram at sneaker talk ca include your instagram name in your comments so you have an easy way to contact you if you want now i wasn't planning to buy these i was not expecting to see these at the mall at all but they had them at the mall and uh these are unfortunately a bit too big for me uh, these are a size 11 and they are the brand new air jordan one. Oh, that's all that Jordan 1 smell hit and it felt good. Oh my gosh. So these are the brand new Air Jordan 1s that just dropped the new pink colorway. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much my last pickup for today's video. If you guys like this video, smash that thumbs up button down below. And I just really appreciate you guys for continuing to rock with the channel. I know I have been inactive over the last week. I actually went on vacation with my family to Cuba. So I wanted to tell you guys that now you guys deserve to know why I was gone for so long. Uh, but I was uploading on my other channel, Sneaker Talk 365. And if you guys don't know what's on the other channel, you can expect a ton of different sneaker reviews, more content related to sneakers that I would normally post here. I'm really gonna make this more of a vlog channel, especially coming this summer when I'm touring Asia. We're gonna be going to Singapore, Japan, Korea, and the Philippines. And this channel will have basically daily vlogs or almost daily vlogs with my Asia adventure. And it's gonna be focused around sneakers and streetwear, of course. Now, if you guys want more sneaker content, we're gonna be doing sneaker news, sneaker uh, unboxings, of course, sneaker reviews, all that will be on the other channel. So do me a huge favor if you're still watching this video, I really appreciate you because you are a true homie if you're still watching right now. Subscribe to the second channel so you don't miss my videos. And if you're already subscribed to this channel, consider binge watching more videos this weekend or hitting that notification bell down below. Anyways, thank you guys for watching and uh, yeah, hope you guys have an awesome weekend. Peace out.